Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. So in this video, we're going to be looking at your 48 hour predictions. So this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to this reading, it's when it's meant for. So you can click on it at any time and it'll be the following 48 hours from the moment you've watched it. So let's get straight to the past selection. Feel free to pause the video here whilst you make your choice. Use your gut instincts and your intuition to lead you to the pile for you. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. I am also available for private readings, so the link to my Shopify is in the description box as well. Okay, so let's get straight to your reading. Okay, group one, let's take a look at your next 48 hours. So we've got your tarot cards here and then your oracles in this envelope. So we'll look at your tarot cards first. Let's just lay them out. Queen of Pentacles, the Strength card and the Eight of Cups. So we've got the sign of Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you may resonate with those signs in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North or South Node. I feel like this is you getting into a really confident energy, feeling like you're able to walk away from something, moving away from something that's been causing you emotional turmoil. This could also be getting closer to nature or close to water, but I also feel like you're going to be focused on financial things or your health things that are physical, but it also may be you getting into the spotlight or getting some kind of attention here. And uh, maybe you're walking away from attention coming, whether that's wanted or unwanted. So let's take a look at your Oracle cards and see what's coming through there. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of changes, okay? The energy is very flexible with nothing is yet set in stone, the mutable moon. So this has definitely got the element of it not being fixed. So you may have more influence at this time more than any other for things to change if you want them to change. However, if you're pretty happy with the way things are, it may be learning to be more adaptable over these next couple of days because I get the sense there's something unexpected that is around the corner and we have a new start is coming new moon so yeah this could be a new beginning in something and this could be going back to leaving your emotions in the past but also we've got healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier so this could be leaving something that was toxic behind this could be a person it could be a career, uh, your colleagues that you're involved with. It could be an addiction to something. And this is about you giving yourself the closure, not waiting for someone else to give it to you, but just finding it for yourself, okay? You may even be going out on a boat, literally. You could be, again, getting close to the sea or walking by the harbour. You may see a boat in the distance or you're you'll see a, a picture, a painting or a boat of a boat or something. And I feel like if you see some synchronicity with uh, boats or the sea or a river, then it's a sign that you are on your divinely guided path. And we've got perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out to common ground. So this may be you seeing things from a different viewpoint than you did before. Okay, yes, yeah, so I feel, really feel like these next 48 hours is going to be about discovery, self-discovery, finding the real you, realizing what you truly desire, what actually brings you joy and what brings you pleasure. Maybe the things you felt addicted to in the past don't feel so good anymore. They don't bring you that happiness that maybe you once got and that got you addicted in the first place. You, maybe you're not getting that same buzz, that same thrill anymore. So you feel like now it's time to let that go and move on and find other things or other people or situations that make me feel good. We have avoid this energy and level up. So I feel like this is pretty transparent actually for you group one to avoid what no longer feels good and what no longer serves you and to level up and realize that you have evolved, your soul has evolved or your tastes and your palate has now changed. Maybe you find certain people or certain things impalatable now. So 
It's like you're starting to refine your tastes and maybe you've got a taste for something that feels better. And yeah, you're leaving what didn't feel good in the past, especially as you, you start to heal, as you start to grow and you start to feel better as a person overall. You won't, those things that felt very negative won't have that same effect on you anymore because you'll be drawn to things that are naturally positive and that really give you something. They don't, they add value to your life. They don't take it away. Okay, so I do hope that this resonates for you, group one, and please feel free to let me know in the comments now or come back in 48 hours time and let me know if this resonates for you. And if you'd like a personal reading, check the description box below for the information there. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, group number two, let's take a look at the next 48 hours for you. So we've got your tarot cards here and your oracle cards in the envelope. So we'll look at the tarot cards first. This could be a new love offer that's coming through with that Ace of Cups over the next couple of days. This is definitely something that's very emotional and sweet and it feels really new. And it could be you that's extending this to someone else, but I'm getting more the sense that you're going to be in that Nine of Coins energy right there where you're feeling secure in yourself, you're feeling confident, you are independent and strong and you don't need people's attention because we've got the Knight of Wands there in the center, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This person seems a little bit flighty or they're not giving you consistent energy. And so it may be two different people here, okay? One that seem, is completely new, maybe someone you've never spoken to before or someone that you've never even met before. And the other one could be someone that's already kind of been in and out of your life and is kind of messing you around. Or again, they could both be new people, but it's like you're not really paying, any, paying them any attention. So you may be in a place where you're just gonna let them wait, okay? So for a couple of days, you might just let them stew because I just feel like you're gonna be in the abundance of money uh, coming to you. I feel like it may even be like a windfall that you receive over these next couple of days. So yeah, I mean, just reinforce that luck. Say, I'm really lucky, I always win, uh, I'm a money magnet. Feel free to write these down in the comments as well. Whatever you need to do, just really focus on that intention. And then remember to let it go as always. So let's take a look at your oracle cards in your envelope and see what else is in store for you over these next couple of days. Oh, well, this has really got me invested, group two. I feel like, I don't know, there's like a whole story going on here. I can't believe this much can happen in 48 hours, but well, anything can change in a big way and it only takes a second for something to change. So I definitely feel like things are moving, moving forwards here. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So this may be an Aries person that's coming towards you here. And the fact that we have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, and still angry. So yeah, you may be still angry at someone or holding on to some resentment. So you may not be interested in someone that's coming in. Okay, and whether that's you're angry or they're angry with you, it just feels like you just don't want to pay someone some attention. And then on the flip side, we've got wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So unless you are attending a wedding in the next 48 hours, and I feel like that is not something that's really spontaneous, is it? You tend to have quite a long um, notice period for an event like that. But however, during these uh, times, maybe that's different, I don't know. Um, so unless there's a spontaneous wedding they're going to, or you're going to a wedding, I do feel like there's some connection to meeting the person that you're next going to be with or the next significant person. So whether it's you're actually going to meet them face to face or you have a conversation or connect or whether there's a loose connection here between someone else, like there's, a, some, there's some kind of catalyst here that is going to send you towards the person that you may end up marrying. You may end up being together with forever, this everlasting promise, okay? And we've got karmic relationships, orient energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. So it may have been that the person that's either trying to get in contact with you or whatever this resentment or whoever this person is that you've dealt with, okay, or, who, or who's been in your life, it's been like a karmic connection that is bringing you again to the person you're meant to be with. So yeah, this is gonna be 
an intense couple of days and whether that's something that's brought to your attention consciously or whether this is what is going on beneath the surface, I definitely feel there's something like a big shift happening for you when it comes to your love life in particular, okay? And connecting with someone in a long and everlasting way. However, I do feel there is gonna be some action. Like there's gonna be something here because we've got Aries um, and Aries like to take action. It is the first sign of the Zodiac. It's the baby of the Zodiac. And what do babies do? They just walk blindly or they crawl blindly. They don't look where they're going. They could be you know, nearing the edge of a cliff but without someone there to um, hold them back, they'll just keep going. Okay, so that is Aries and its movement. But you may also resonate with the sign of Aries. It may be in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, north or south node, but it may be in one of these people that's coming in, okay? Because I'm definitely getting the energy of more than one. As I said, whether you're dealing with somebody from the past and someone new's coming in, or whether it's two brand new people, but there is some kind of conflict here, conflict of interest, okay? We've got the flame of love and peace and be yourself. Yeah, so it may be that conf a conflict with someone that arose that is the flame of love and then eventually that brings peace. Maybe there needed to be some kind of eruption for the inner peace to be found and for you to finally feel like you can be who you really are, to find that inner strength and confidence again and to feel like I've already been at rock bottom, it can't get any lower than that, I may as well just be myself. And someone has to love and support me for me or not at all. Not, and I feel like you're in that energy where you are starting to attract more and more of that. And the advice may be to bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So again, you may resonate resonate <laughs> you may resonate with the sign of Aquarius, but also one of these people may do as well. And that has some level of emotional detachment. It's it's airy, okay, especially if the moon is in Aquarius or an air sign. It's it's very movable more so than any other sign. So yeah, definitely more flexible, but at the same time, if it's Aquarius particularly, it can be quite detached. So it may be about bringing love back into the situation. So yeah, I'm feeling like love is now what is needed, okay? If there's already been the conflicts, the fire, the anger or the passion, then comes the simmering, you know, where it comes down and then starts to burn and into embers and then the embers continue to burn until they completely die out. So it may be in that kind of dying out stage right now. We also have you are healing and then build up. You're going through the healing process and starting to make healthier choices and leaving certain energies in the past and not entertaining things that don't serve you anymore. We've got builder. So this could be something that you're actually doing over the next couple of days. You could be building, you could be renovating or, you know, building a business or building a project, um, building a relationship or building up communication. It could also be very literal, like your person is a builder or you are, but something to do with construction and Aries and Mars is construction, but also military. So it may be that you need someone that is very active, okay? And it may be that you're being very active over the next couple of days. It doesn't feel like this is a passive couple of days. Yeah, it just feels like even though you're in a place where you can flourish and you can just enjoy the abundance that's around you, but I still feel like there's, there's things moving and shaking, but it may be that it's external, like you're the one kind of in this observation seeing all of this stuff going on around you, but it's like you're protected in a way, like shielded from anything negative. That's just the sense that I'm getting, but yeah, this is just really exciting. So I really wanna know um, if this does resonate for you guys, obviously now, or, but more so in a couple of days times, so remember to come back to this video and let me know in the comments how this uh, did play out on your own individual level. And um, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can check the description box below for all of that information there. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, group number three. Let's take a look at your next 48 hour predictions. So we've got your tarot cards here and then your oracle cards in this envelope. So we'll take a look at the tarot first. Okay, so straight away, look at all, that, all of those pentacles. Okay, two of coins, seven of coins, and then we've got the Hierophant there in the center, which is the card of Taurus. So all Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could resonate with those signs in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North or South node. 
I'm sensing this is you being very focused on money and your finances and your career, but you may be seeking advice from someone. This might be financial advice or this could be you giving advice as well. But this is also about like higher learning or someone that's higher up here so that you may be conversing with or looking up to or getting guidance from. And I sense that you're gonna have a lot to juggle, but you manage to juggle it all really well, um, even though you have a lot on your plate. I feel like you really thrive when you have work to do. You're not someone I feel that easily rests because you may get bored and restless and you know they say idle hands, right? So, and I feel like that's something that you really live by. Certainly over the next couple of days so far, it looks like you're gonna be very much work focused. Now it could also be gardening is what I'm seeing. Um, some of you could be, yeah, doing some gardening at home, um, pulling out some weeds or planting some new flowers or, being close to and connected to nature as well. So you may also go on a nature walk. I'm just seeing you being very connected to the earth. So let's take a look at your oracles. Okay, we have hammer. So you may be doing some building work, um, some renovations, some DIY. Again, being very active and working on improvements, self-improvements, home improvements or work improvements. And then we've got talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. So yeah, you may receive some communication that you've been waiting for. I do feel there is an element of it being karmic though. So whatever message that comes through that you've been waiting for, I feel like it was divinely guided and it's meant to lead you on some kind of new path here, okay? And again, that talking energy, I do feel like you're going to be talking and whether you're talking to a Taurus and getting some advice there about money or, or luxury things as well, but also Taurus is great with, with things that look aesthetically pleasing, um, seeing things with a beautiful eye, it's ruled by Venus, so being able to see the beauty in things, so maybe getting advice from beauty gurus as well, um, maybe even people on YouTube watching tutorials, you know, again, this is all about improving, I feel like, and then we've got wish fulfillment, so something about what's happening in the next couple of days is going to either feel like a wish fulfillment, or it's going to be the catalyst to lead you to your wish fulfillment, so if, if this is you, like, working really hard on your craft, on your business, or on your relationship, your home, whatever it may be for you, it's going to lead you to that place where you feel that your dreams have come true. Okay, so it is going to lead you there. It just feels like at times you may feel like you're stuck in the mud. Emotions are running high, so it may feel a little tense at times and like you're, feel, if you're feeling drained, you're feeling tired because there is something that you need to release. Releasing a burden or a responsibility, there might be something that you could just let go of a little bit more. But I feel like that might be really challenging for you at times group three because I feel like you want to do everything and achieve everything and you may be of the mentality there's not enough hours in the day. In either case, again going back to the wish fulfillment and karmic, this is all happening for a reason and you're going to get what you want, you're going to get what you've been dreaming of, okay? Love and light renew your life. I'm seeing you maybe light a candle and wow, I'm also seeing an animal in this image as well. I'm seeing the rabbit or a goat or something, something with hooves. Um, I know rabbits don't have hooves, but I'm seeing like a, the rabbit nose and teeth and then I'm seeing hooves, I don't know. Maybe you're going on a horse ride or maybe you see horses um, on a walk with a dog as well. Um, again, being connected to mother nature here. But yeah, so maybe you have, go light a campfire or something. Or again, you light some candles at home and do some deep meditation because we've got deep cellular healing Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So I do feel like you're going to be working through your emotions as well. So it does feel like it's going to be a fairly balanced couple of days because you've got that physical work which you're doing, you're earning your money, um, you know, you're renovating, you're changing the things you need to change, you're doing the run-of-the-mill housework things, you're getting things done. Um, but you're also working on yourself on an emotional level. You're spending the time to be alone and to connect with higher source, to connect with your emotional body, your mental body, and 
learning what you need to release. So yeah, I feel like this is gonna be quite a transformative couple of days for you and you're gonna get a lot out of it. And you may end up being in the place of the Hierophant and feeling that you've gained some higher knowledge um, about yourself and some wisdom here about either your emotions or about a certain situation um, or even about your career or your future. But you just feel like you're more on top of things. So I do hope that this resonates for you, Group 3, and please feel free to come back to this video in 48 hours and let me know if it did. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, uh, my information is in the description box below. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, Group Number 4. Let's take a look at your 48-hour predictions. So we've got your tarot cards here and your oracle cards are in this envelope. So we'll take a look at the tarot cards first. So I'm seeing Earth energy come through, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but we've also got Air and Water, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you may resonate with those signs. I'm seeing you feel like you're releasing something that felt really bad, like re releasing rejection or financial issues there, or health issues, something that was really dragging you down. And I feel like that's now gonna feel like it's over, like the hard times are over, the lonely times are over, and that you're able to move forwards in some way. But yet I see this Knight of Swords here reversed. Seeing a lot of dark colors here, so I don't know if you're gonna be either spending a lot of time at home or in the dark, okay, or whether you're gonna be thriving at night time, maybe you're a night owl or you're really nocturnal and you naturally like to, like to be uh, connected to the nighttime and the moon, maybe that you're focused on the moon or yeah, just being in a really dark room or something. But this could also be just the, the, the vibe, the vibe of how you're feeling it kind of being a bit dark and blue, but I am seeing like indigo here. So like third eye chakra. So you may be connecting with some intuitive signs that are coming through over these next couple of days. I am seeing there may be somebody that's wanting to get through to you here, like that's wanting to communicate with you. So it may be that you, you're feeling like you're over something or over someone, and then it's like they pick that up intuitively themselves, and then they wanna come back in towards you. But I'm sensing you're at this place where you're just done. Like emotionally, it's not even like you're feeling the, the emotions or the deep emotions anymore, but just not expressing them. It's like you're just not even feeling them anymore, or you've pushed it all down. And yeah, so it may be that someone's coming in and is realizing that you are not interested anymore and it makes them wanna come in even stronger. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through. Okay, so we've got work through your fears, new moon Scorpio. So again, you may resonate deeply with the sign of Scorpio, but Scorpio is also represented by the color black. It's ruled by Mars traditionally, but also Pluto in the modern sense. But if you look at that deep purple, the indigo, again, the darkness, Scorpio likes to, likes the nighttime. Scorpio is death, Scorpio is sex, Scorpio is mystery and being very private. So yeah, I'm just sensing that you're gonna be in quite a private space these next couple of days. Not taking some time out from people these next couple of days, but then, it's almost like that becomes more of a magnet. So the more that you distance yourself, the more people wanna get in touch. We've got love calls, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So yeah, as I said, it could be that person that you've let go of and that you're over now. And now they come in because they're like, oh, they just sense immediately that you've pulled away from them. So it's like they just wanna let you know that they're still there, still loving you, still waiting for you. We've got, you're very close to achieving your goals. So if you've been working on releasing a specific person and wanting closure or wanting to get over someone or releasing debt as well, this could be about debt, releasing financial issues, releasing dependency on something, um, something that was troubling you. This is you feeling like you're much more able to stand on your own two feet and you're not having to rely on others in some way. So yeah, you're getting really close to being where you're wanting to be. And I sense that you're gonna be taking baby steps. Action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. It's the little steps that are like building blocks. Okay, if you're, if you're building a house and you lay one brick at a time, I feel like that's what you're gonna be doing, like taking things step by step and not 
rushing things, okay? But also, again, following your intuition. So you may do something impulsively here. So again, it might be you to actually reach out to them. If you just feel like you're in a place where you wanna tell someone you love them, you may just go for it because I do feel like there is a level of impulsivity this weekend. So whether, again, that's on your side or someone else feels that way, and they're like, do you know what? I've just got nothing to lose here and I wanna reach out. Okay, and then we've got self-care. So I feel like this is your energy of feeling like you're gonna be in that place where you're just looking after yourself and nourishing your soul, nourishing your body. You may meet a travel consultant and whether that's a booking that you create or it's a serendipitous meet, you come across someone that works in that industry or and they might just travel is on your mind and whether that's long distance travel to another country or even just traveling a little bit further than your home and just going somewhere a little different you know, it may be that you travel somewhere at night time and maybe you go for a nighttime drive or a nighttime stroll, of course, if it's safe. But yeah, I just feel like you're definitely going to be working with the nighttime energy more than anything. So yeah, this kind of nocturnal vibe. And it may even be that you're having some really vivid dreams over the next couple of days and they may feel quite dark, but I feel like there's something within those dreams that's actually going to help you heal. These may help to dissolve some blocks if you've been in a negative thought cycle or a poor mentality, a la lacking self-esteem, yeah, it's there's something you're gonna be doing and working with Scorpio energy and Scorpio is also fire, even though it's, it's a water sign, but it is ruled by Mars, which is a fiery planet, okay? So the elements of fire and more, Mars also rules iron and steel. So yeah, like a fire pit or you know, writing a letter about what you want to release and then burning it would be a really great way to use that to infuse the elements of Scorpio in there. And we have the butterfly, relationship evolving into the next phase and healing the inner child growth. Those of you in a relationship already and you're waiting things to step up a gear, this could be a positive indication that something about these next couple of days is going to help it progress and move forwards into the next phase. Whereas for those of you that are single, so obviously the next phase of being single would be to date. It may be that you receive a message from someone who wants to take you out on a first date, okay? This could also be about the relationship you have with yourself, okay? Or relationship you also have with children, because I keep seeing children here too. So it may be that your relationship either with your children or child or one of your parents is starting to evolve in a more beautiful way. And I just thought with baby steps there as well. So yeah, for those of you that do have like young children, maybe they'll be taking their first steps, you know, or their first crawl or making some kind of first of something, a first movement. You know, it could be a pet as well, um, that a pet does something, um, makes a little change and evolves in some way. But I do feel you are being guided to have courage as you work through your fears, okay? Whatever feels really scary to you, if there's something that you've been putting off, then I feel like that's something that you still, you need to push through that and just do it. And actually, when you come through that, you'll dissolve those blocks that were holding you back in the first place and you'll realize that it wasn't as bad as you were imagining it to be. And maybe you put too much pressure on it and it definitely wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. But always just follow your intuition. Use your gut instinct. Do what feels right and what you feel connected to. So I do hope that this resonates for you, group four. And if it does now or if it does in 48 hours and you want to come back and let me know, please feel free to comment below. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can check the description box below for the information there on how you can book one with me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.